Johnny was the inside manager. He was the disciplinarian. I mean, there was no question. We're going to deal with Dee Dee on an important subject. I mean, Dee Dee's very smart, but Dee Dee is trouble. Dee Dee lives to be trouble. He lives to be that awful six-year-old. And Joey was trouble. He was so frail. He was always getting sick. He couldn't come down a staircase. Johnny was trouble. He punched Dee Dee in the head after the show if he missed them. They were all trouble. Uh, that's a band. I mean, you know, it's rock and roll. We play so loud and all the amps couldn't take it, but now we got these amps that they, they could, they really, they, they work. You know, we can really push them and we could blow this place apart if we wanted to. We'd set up everything. <laughs> the Ramones were all crazy. I mean, can you imagine being in a van with Dee Dee and Johnny and Joey for the rest of your life? I was in the van a lot. I mean, let me tell you, it wasn't fun. Oh, sitting in the f***ing van, come on, Joey, you know, get to Buffalo tonight. He would come down the steps, go back up because he didn't touch every other step or something. He was superstitious, but beyond. It was compulsive behavior. You know, touch every other picket on the uh, spot across the street and start to cross the street come back and start to cross the street and come back ah i remember they would sit with their girlfriends you know connie and Dee, Dee would be there and i remember john johnny just saying she's a pig what are you doing with her what are you what are you doing with a pig i mean just go to Dee, Dee, you know and Dee, Dee just you know freaking out going, ah, and he pulling out that huge 007 knife gravity knife you know and i was between them you know and Dee's Dee lunging with this huge knife to stab and Johnny's going, what are you going to do kill me you're going to kill me as far as business goes johnny was right on the ball he knew how to run that organization and business and all the aspects of making sure the group had certain rules and stuck with them which i respected a lot his personality sucked it was a controlling I don't know, was, uh, you know, it's very, very controlling personality and difficult. <sighs> he was just trying to um, take advantage of a once in a lifetime situation, try to be an adult about it. And we were really dysfunctional and we drove him crazy. And like the father. he was unpleasant enough as it is, so like on top of that, you know, we just instigated him into becoming a monster. If I'm running things like a sergeant in the army or something like that, maybe not everyone can handle that. But you need you need someone to make the decision. Someone's got to someone's got to do something. Otherwise, you just flounder around. You know. I think he made a lot of sacrifices for the band too. You know, he had to put up with a lot of aggravation, and I think everybody in the band's behavior offended him. He didn't want anybody doing drugs. You know. You know, I don't want to conform to someone's ways all the time either. And um, I think in the Ramones, I really, really, really had to conform. Dee Dee, you know, he always expressed all this frustration about having being locked into the bowl haircut. And, you know, he wanted to dress differently and, you know, have punk rock hair. And so I think Dee Dee felt very frustrated by that because, you know, he came up from that uh, more Jerry Nolan, Johnny Thunders, looking good, dressing with the styles and all that. 
Instead, he had to have the uniform. You know, it was like this regimented, here's your uniform, put that on.